Are you in search of a fun method to capture an awesome screenshot in Skyrim or simply wish to alter the atmosphere around you? Because I'm about to show you guys two commands that you may use to alter the weather here in Skyrim using console commands. And it is super duper easy. Now the only thing about this is that there are a ton of weather ID codes. So I will be sending you guys over to a website called SkyrimCommands.com where you can actually pull up an entire list of not only the weather IDs but like literally every other command in the game. So if you're tired of watching me, want a quick list of everything you need to know for console commands, go check out SkyrimCommands.com. I have nothing to do with that website. I'm not affiliated with them. I am not affiliated with them. Sorry, I kind of stumbled there. But uh, we're going to go ahead and kick it off and get right into this by opening up the console command window using the tilde key. Then we are going to type there. Well, hang on. Before I get into it, there are two different commands. There's force weather and there's set weather. Now, if we do set weather, uh, from my understanding, it may take a second for the weather to kick in. Uh, and after a little while, it's going to naturally change to another type. Now, if we do force weather, from what I understand, uh, it's going to stay, it is going to immediately kick in and it is going to stay until you change it uh, f from whatever weather ID code you have. So uh, I like personally to save my game before doing certain cheats like this, uh, especially if you're using them for the first time. I definitely recommend like saving your game, kind of testing it out, see what's what, see what you want to do, and then. Uh, and then whatever but anyway so we have the console command open with the tilde we're going to type force weather and then we are going to type an id code like i said there's ton i'm um, looking at the list right now and i see skyrim storm rain i'm gonna go ahead and do that so it's force weather space let's see zero 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 c eight two two zero that is the code for skyrim storm rain so we're gonna see you can see it immediately change behind me it is now raining and apparently it's storming as well so we are going to change that to another code let's do one more let's do skyrim storm snow so it's going to be zero 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 c8 two two one it's literally the very next one don't know how different it's actually going to be oh okay yeah nice okay cool snow um, let's activate mage light here. I just want a little extra light on us while we're doing the video. Okay, now we're going to go over to set weather. We're going to check out the set weather command. So we're going to do set weather space. Um, let's see, what's one here? I see Skyrim overcast war. We're going to check that one out. So it's going to be 000D299E. Okay, so it doesn't kick in immediately. We're going to pull up, we're going to get rid of the console command window. And you can see it's kind of slowly, naturally changing here. I'm not sure what, it did stop snowing, okay. And this wind, this is not part of this weather ID. This is actually uh, what happens when you stand here. So I am in God mode, I'm gonna go ahead and jump off of this. If you guys wanna see any other commands here in Skyrim, like God mode or how to teleport to locations, unlock all map marker locations or max, um, your any skill out stuff like that or maybe even access the developer room which is a really cool command feel free to check out my channel i do have a playlist here on skyrim and i do plan on making console command videos when starfield comes out as well as elder scroll 6 and maybe in the next fallout game so we're going to do the set weather command we're going to erase that code and check out another command here all right um i see one here called solitude blue palace fog fear I'm not sure what that is, but I kind of want to check it out. So it's going to be 0015943. Let's check out this ID. And there are also some really cool um, DLC type weather, such as like Eclipse. You can see in the thumbnail of my video, I actually did uh, an Eclipse. I took a, I changed it to an Eclipse and took a picture of the, uh, uh, the Eclipse and set it as my thumbnail. But uh, the DLC codes are a little bit differently. I'm not actually going to show you guys. It's not hard. If you go to the um, website that I recommended you guys go to, SkyrimCommands.com, it'll actually show you uh, how to do that. But basically, with any of the DLC weathers, you have to type in the DLC code um, before the weather ID. So I'm not sure what the different DLC codes are, but they do give them to you. So it's all super self-explanatory and easy. And right in front of you, you, can, you really can't mess it up. So... Um, from what I understand, if you want the weather to go back uh, naturally, 
just do any ID code with the set weather command and it will eventually change back to uh, whatever, I guess, whatever is a natural weather for wherever you're at. But anyway, hopefully you guys got what you came here for. That is everything that I wanted to show you uh, as far as weather IDs go and console commands for changing the weather. And I'll catch you guys in the flip-flop.